On one occasion, my father was in hospital with a king-sized bottle of whiskey on his bedside table. Dr. Goldman and his very junior doctor came into my father's room simultaneously. Dr. Goldman's wife had refused him sex for a week and as he was dependent on sex, he was in a furious temper. When he was in such moods, he could be violent, particularly towards other male doctors. He seized the king-sized bottle of whiskey from my father's bedside table with one hand and gave the junior doctor, Dr. Creepor, a resounding slap on the ear with the other. How dare you allow him this, you painless nincompoop, when I've just saved his liver, he shouted. Oh, do please give that back to me, pleaded my father. His pathetic request fell on deaf ears, however. Dr. Goldman had a very colourful personality, despite his outbursts of temper. Sometimes he was considered to be quite a rake about town. He was married to a humorous woman called Bertha, with whom he lived in Hampstead, and who had no interest in sexual matters. I won't go on with this, it gets quite boring, uh, but his uh, violent temper was very amusing. As I said before, Adrian wrote in order to please his father, and I wrote my books in order to shock my father. On one occasion, when my father and I were dining alone, I asked my father whose books he would have chosen if he were wrecked on a desert island, Adrian's or mine? Neither, replied my father assertively. I told Adrian this to humour him, and he said he would not discuss the matter. Clifton was owned by Lord Astor, who was rather a naughty boy. Anyway, his behaviour towards Stephen Ward, everyone knows who Stephen Ward was, poor man, was cowardly beyond belief. There is only one thing I can't stand, and that is a coward. Lord Astor had turned the poor defenceless wretch off his land when things were getting too hot and although the two had been good friends Lord Astor virtually disowned him to save his own skin. What was even more underhanded of Lord Astor was the fact that he, that is to say Lord Astor, indiscreetly asked his former tenant to put the keys of the cottage that Stephen Ward was living in, he had rented into an envelope and leave the envelope somewhere where it could be collected. Anyway, my father met Lord Astor at a meet. I didn't know anything about Lord Astor, but Lord Astor met him at, at a hunt meet. And Lord Astor said, Hello, Michael. Topping weather today. What? Have you got any progeny out? And my father said, Yes. And Lord Astor said, Who have you got out, if I might ask, Michael, old chap? Porter. And then he said, You don't like me very much, do you? Michael. And my father said, Nope. I think you behaved absolutely disgracefully. Over the Profumo affair, Stephen Ward, a Rui, committed suicide. 
He couldn't stand it anymore. 